Welcome to Willow's Book Apothecary. I am Willow. So I have been participating a little bit too hard in Sad Girl Autumn. Um, that's the trend right now. I've been listening to all of the new Adele and Taylor Swift and Lana Del Rey's new album and I decided I needed to take myself out on a date. I needed to get out of this funk. So I decided to take myself to my home away from home which is in downtown Detroit. I went to John King Books. If you are not familiar with this Detroit gem, you are in for an absolute treat. John King Books is Michigan's largest rare and used bookstore. And when I say largest, I am talking about an old Detroit industrial building that is four stories high, filled top to bottom with over a million books. Plus, all the books are seriously discounted. This is a store that you go to when you want to find something to do with a better half of your day. This is no joke, you guys. I tried to capture as much footage as I could, but nothing could do this store justice. So you're just going to have to take my word for it. There are two John King book locations in case you find yourself in Detroit. The one that I visited is, you know, this giant megaplex of a store and that one is in downtown Detroit on West Lafayette. There is a second location in Ferndale. So if you find yourself um, coming down, make sure you go to the right location. On top of that, they have an entire what I call restricted section, which the general public does not have access to. But if you are looking for extremely rare books, you can make an appointment to basically visit this restricted section and they will pull out for you like the most rare books that they have available. If you are looking for your Rory Gilmore main character moment, this is the perfect place to do it. I'm telling you, the people there are so nice and you know, if you're looking for your Rory Gilmore moment, there's quite a few Jesses working there. If you know, you know. They have maps all around the store because like I said, this place is huge. So here is a map and you do need it. Unless you've been there and like you know this place by heart, you will need a map.
So I had spent around 90 minutes in the store and that was only me going through every single floor, just weaving in and out of the aisles. Like I said, this is a store where you need to go if you have quite a bit of time on your hands. It does get pretty busy and can't get very crowded. The, as you can see, the aisles are pretty narrow. I didn't go to the store with any specific purchase in mind. I kind of wanted to see what popped out to me and I managed to walk out with only one book. This was a win compared to the last visit where I had spent nearly $150, but I walked out with an entire printer box filled to the brim with books. So um, <laughs> bring your money because it's really easy to find books that appeal. The book that I ended up picking up for myself is Intimate Death, How the Dying Teach Us How to Live by Marie de Hanazel. I know I didn't pronounce that right. So I am voyaging into a new chapter in my social work career and I will be working in hospice care. Marie is a renowned psychologist in France and she has worked with the terminally ill throughout her career and she is trying to shift the dynamic from which we think about death and dying. Rather than dreading it, we she tries to help us embrace death and look at it from an entirely new perspective. So in my new voyage in my career, I figured this is going to be a great tool to add to my kit working with my client. Hope if you are all ever in Detroit that you make it to John King Books because it is a book lover's dream. Until next time, booktube, happy reading.